Now we are starting to actually play with the arrays. Uh, we're going to add items to an array. So add 10 random integers to an array list and print the array on the console. So the first thing that we should do is like how to loop 10 times because we want to remember when I was saying that looping it's basically repeating lines of code, right? So that was in the previous exercise, by the way, if you want to go to the previous one. Um, if you ask me to add 10 times something to an array, there's a method called push. You can just Google it. Uh, I, actually, I would recommend that you Google it and read a little bit about it. Um, basically, adding to an array a number programmatically, because I can just say here a new, a new number. Like, I can just put here 33, and that's it. I just added it. But I don't want to hard code it there. You know, I want to do it programmatically. So I want to do array.push. And then 33, for example. If I print this array now, you'll see that it has 33 inside. So that's basically how you add it programmatically. But then I can also add other six. You know, let's add 12, 11, 9, 45, and 97. And then if I run it, you'll see that I have all those elements, you know, 33. 12, 11, 99, 45, and 97. So I, I can keep adding elements like this, you know? So, and you start seeing the patterns now, like everything is the same. All of these things are the same. What changes is only the number. So the exercise is telling us to, to we have to split it in three things. Like first, how to add an item, and here we have it. Now, how to generate a random number, it's with this, with math.random. So if instead of doing 13, 12, like this, if I do it with math.random, you will see that it will generate random numbers. Here they are. But these numbers look horrible, you know? So you don't want to use 0 0.913. Like, that's not a real, like, it's not a, a beautiful number, you know? Maybe beautiful for a math mathematician. But for us, we want round numbers. And how do you round a number in JavaScript? And that's where the tricky part comes. Because the only way that there is, is to use the floor function, you know, to remove decimals, like this. Math, math.floor. I'm only going to do this to the first one so that you see what happens. Like, if what happens if I remove the decimals from this number? It's going to become zero. So you don't want that, right? You don't want it to become zero. There it is, zero. Because then if I do that to several of them, they will all be zero you know here you have zero 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 like you don't want that you want to have like numbers you know so an additional trick that you can do is to move the comma once or twice to the right before applying the math.floor so you can do here times two for example and then we will have numbers of two decimals um not two decimals my bad two digits look now we have zero zero one zero so at least we got one you know actually my bad you know it's not my bad uh if i want to move the comma twice i have to put 100 that that was my bad you know that was my bad 100 in all of them and then you actually have numbers you know that can uh, vary from from zero to 200 so that's basically how you add four items into an array and four random numbers in particular. So, and we're almost there, look, because math.random, it's what we use for the numbers. Then we use push to add the array, uh, the item into, into every array. And then we have to loop 10 times. In, so instead of doing it four times, we're going to do it only once because we can use our good loop here. You know, we can just use a loop. We can say, or let one um, i equal to zero as long as i is less than 10, increase i in one. I open the scope of the loop and I, I add my push inside of that loop and then I run it and it's going to do it 10 times. You see, you can see here console.log. This is the i time. Let's see. 
one, two, three. This is the zero time, the one time, the two time, the three time. And every time it's adding a new random number. So that's why we ended up having here 45. And here it is. But then you can find the other 10 elements after that. So basically we're combining three concepts here. We're doing array.push to add an item into an array R. This is my array. Then we're doing math.floor because we want to look for a number that is random and we want to generate it randomly. And then we're using a for to repeat this line 10 times. And that's how we end up having 10 more items into our array. Let's see if this works. Maybe I, I'm missing a console log that I shouldn't do or something. Call the console log function just once. Okay, so let me remove this one. Took. Then I run it again. And we wait. Oh yeah, I don't have to look, I don't have to, yeah, my bad, I have to remove is this one. Yeah, I only want to call it once. If I put a console log, by the way, inside the loop, I'm going to be calling it 10 times. You don't want to call it 10 times because remember, that whatever is on the scope of the loop, it's going to run 10, or oh, not 10, but as many times as the loop runs. So you want to check it out so that it's only one time. Let's see it again. And there we go.